Hello, my name is Alvino Trindad and I will present you the basics of Shipworks Part 1. Shipworks is an add-in for SolidWorks to allow SolidWorks users to be more productive when designing ships. I will start to talk about Shipworks Manager. Shipworks Manager is the heart of Shipworks. Here, project leaders may define the rules for every designer. Everyone working with the same ship will be forced to use the rules defined by project leader. Shipworks Manager allows project leaders to create projects. To create a new project, leaders must specify the configuration they would like to use, the path for all files created, the path containing the hull, and some basic settings like beam, length, depth, draft, the rules for the thickness, and so on. A configuration is a set of rules. Leaders may define several configurations. Here, in the General tab, leaders must define the location for libraries and templates. Under File Naming are the rules to automatically name all files created by Shipworks. No more different file names by different designers. Under Materials, leaders must define the allowed materials and thicknesses for brackets, plates, flanges, etc. On the Drawing tab, leaders may define some naming conventions. On favorites, leaders may create the most common used profile end cuts, brackets, and flange end cuts. For backup purposes and or other purposes, um, users may also import and export all the data in the database. To export, users must select the project or the configuration to export and then a destination folder. A file will be created. This file can be imported later on using the import command. And that's it for Shipworks Manager. In the next part, we will be shown how to model, how to design a ship using all these uh, configurations.